what's the perfect length of backswing, but also how do we get there? Well, today we're gonna answer that question and more importantly, by doing so, we're gonna improve your contact. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And today I wanna to talk about what is the right length of backswing when you're hitting a mid iron, I've got a seven iron, but more importantly, I wanna talk about how you get there because a lot of golfers will say, well, I've got the perfect length of backswing, Todd. I'm like, well, it is the right length, but the way that you're getting there, man, it is disaster and setting you up for a lot of failure. So first of all, the length of backswing, when we're hitting a seven iron, let's just say for sake of discussion, you know, uh, this is parallel, right? That's the club shaft is parallel to the ground like that. So with the seven iron or six iron, eight iron, something like that, I think it should be definitely a little short of parallel. So as a reference point, if my drivers may be just short of parallel, I think that's the best spot. As the clubs get shorter, it gets to be less and less. So maybe your wedge might be here, okay? Five iron, six iron, seven iron, boom, all the way down to the driver. So that's where we want it to be. We want it to be definitely short of parallel. But the question becomes is how do I get there? Now let me first of all show you what a lot of golfers are doing. If you're struggling with contact, and you're just not hitting the golf ball the way that you wanted to, you could be getting that club up there by just literally breaking down your right arm, your trail arm, okay, or your wrist. So look something like this. I'm in here, I break it down, no width here, and you'll, what you'll notice that there's no width, no length to the backswing. So typically you'll top it, uh, just contact. Your contact's gonna be bad. Now, what we want to be doing is we want to be getting there with rotation of body trim. It's one of the core concepts of the vertical line swing coaching system that a lot of you are following here at US Golf TV. Also, a lot of you are buying the book, The Bad Lie. We love hearing that. We love your comments. Let us know where you're from and what it is that you'd like us to talk about. We love hearing that. But what we want to do is we want to get that club to just short of parallel, but we want to get there with some width. Okay, so what we mean by width is this. When we swing the club to the top, width is the distance from my hands to my shoulder. See this? This would be a lot of width. This would be less, less, and less. Okay, now that, why is that important? Because when we have width on the backswing, one is it gives us more club head speed in general, but it really helps contact because when I come back in contact with the golf ball, okay, my arms and hands are extended. They're not collapsed, all right? So I wanna get them and keep them extended on the backswing. So the question becomes, how do you practice that? Well, let me show you a little simple drill you can do. So I'm gonna use my, my swing stacker here. This is something that we developed and uh, super proud of this here because it's really helping a lot of golfers. Okay, they'll, they'll put the link in the description and all that. So if you wanna get one, we use it for, oh gosh, wedges, putting, chipping, connection, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strap it on here a little bit, super easy. It's one of the things we, Make it easy to do, I'm gonna slide it up my forearm. Now, because I'm working on my width, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna rotate it around this way. Okay, so see how the logo is pointing up towards the sky. Now, when I have it in that position right there, what I'm gonna do is just make a couple practice swings. Boom, and that right there, see that's what we want, that's the width right there. Okay, boom, if I took it, let me just slide it around this way. Okay, now I can actually break it down. That's not what I want. Okay, I wanna get some width. So let me go ahead and hit a shot here. So I'm gonna rotate it around. So the logo's pointing up towards the sky. Let's give it our three setter. You know we love our three setters. Boom, there's one. There's two, look at the width. God, it feels good. It feels like I'm really out there. But I think it looks really good. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna to try to replicate that feel. Okay, that was pretty good. I hit it a little bit thin, but it was pretty decent. So if you're struggling with contact, Yes, it could be a lot of different things, but one of it could be because you're losing width in the backswing. How you get the club close to where you want it to get to at the top is important, but more important is how you get it. Make sure you get some width to it, make sure you keep that width, and that tip right there will definitely improve your contact. 